Good morning, everybody. It is uh, Tuesday, and it's pretty cold right now, 28 degrees, but uh, we're at a job that we did, I don't know, beginning of last year or so. Driveway and uh, front porch, sidewalk, and then we did a patio and some steps going around the back. So what we got going today is some retaining walls. Really just decorative walls, but um, the guys came here on Friday and kind of did a little bit of digging on this front area up here. So they got this area kind of dug out enough to get us some rock in. Um, we'll get our laser set and kind of check these grades and we're gonna start at our lowest point down here, but I wanna stay below the front porch. So wherever my grade ends up, we'll have to get our steps and stuff and get it to where we're not higher than that front porch. And then we also have another little wall just going to go up to the house, come down, and then kind of circle over. Probably going to open it up a little bit more and bring it over this way. But this is what we did in the back. They're going to do some kind of little paper stones. They didn't want to do no walk down to this, but this is just a little patio area that we did for them. Turned out pretty nice. Little roll curb over there. Oh, dang. That thing cracked pretty good across there. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna actually grind that out while we're here. And I'm gonna caulk that. So that's a problem with those throats right there, especially where the step meets the patio. I poured all that monolithic and without having a joint at the bottom step there, you got that crack. So I'll go ahead and grind that sucker out of there with the V Groover and uh, put some caulk in there and it'll look real nice. So Dave's on his way here with some rock. Ricky had to take Layla to school this morning. So uh, Ricky will be here soon. Dave will be here soon with rock. And then as soon as we get done getting situated here, I gotta go get a few more blocks and then we're gonna also go to another job today. We've got four pallets of blocks at that fireplace job. Morning. Morning. Holy moly. What? Yeah. A little goatee action. Right, right. Dang. He did look at me yesterday. He goes, you get a haircut? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I shaved my beard. He's like, oh, yeah. Hey. Holy shit. That's yeah, funny. That I don't know if I like the shape on that one over there. We might have to swing it out just a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll focus on this one, JT. But over here, if you look at this. This is going to go up against the house, come out this way, and then come over. But I think I want to uh, maybe bump it over just a little bit farther. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Morning. Morning. How's it going? Good so far. I'm yeah. surprised to see somebody here. Why? Well, the guy that dropped the stuff off said, here's your wall, the instructions. Oh, the yeah, I know. That's what Dave said. Uh, Thanks for doing business with Dirk Thomas Concrete. We'll have your instructions in the mail soon. <laughs> <laughs> My wife loved that one. <laughs> yeah, Dave's funny. Do you, can I get, do you guys need anything? Electricity, water? Um, uh, I know? think we're good right now. Do I need to move my son's car out of the way? No, nope. Nope, you'll be good to go. We're going to dump a little bit of rock in the street right here. Okay. And then um, we'll just be kind of wheeling that in. And okay. So we're going to start on this one here and then uh, go from there. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. I know it's cold out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you soon. Have a great day. All right. So I stayed up all night last night messing with the dang videos. I really need to get somebody to start editing these videos for me. My little sister's supposed to be doing it. And uh, man, it's just taking up all my freaking time. That's all I do is edit videos on Facebook or whatever you call it, YouTube. So I gotta go to the shop, get the dump trailer, make sure the tires are aired up on that bad boy and then run to ASP. So this is gonna take me probably, I mean, it's gonna take me an hour and 15 minutes, I bet. It's 7.45 right now. And uh, that's all right. I mean, with the we, it's still winter time, and it's awesome that the weather's nice, and we're able to do these jobs right now, like we are. Um, the job up there with the fireplace and everything, I got the blocks sitting there, 
I plan on going there today and stacking up what I can. And with the with the concrete footings, everything should go really smooth and quick there. Um, the only thing is, is on those radius sitting walls, a lot of times we got to cut so many blocks on those just because of the radius and the angle on the block doesn't always work out. So we'll see what all we got in store for us today. I'm not sure exactly how much we're going to get done on either one of these jobs, but I know we're going to get a lot done. So I'll see you guys uh, probably at the shop whenever I get there to get this trailer. All right, let's throw this uh, trailer on the truck real quick. Dang, we got some cats up in this thing. Come on now. Holy crap. Gonna have cats everywhere now. Uh, the backup camera is definitely the best invention that they ever put on a pickup truck, without a doubt. Man, I'll tell you what, this old dump trailer right here is... This was Rick Thomas concrete right here, buddy. If it wasn't for this thing, I don't know what I'd done. Alrighty, time to head to ASP. You know, I used to go to Kirkwood Material. That's where I met Buddy at. But uh, man, if you're from St. Louis, you already know Kirkwood Material, man, they sold and it just went completely downhill. Their prices freaking skyrocketed. And uh, um, I started dealing with ASP, so anybody from St. Louis, you know, with being a concrete guy, I don't do strictly retaining walls and stuff. So all the retaining wall guys probably have, you know, a couple other connections around here. Um, but I like Buddy. Buddy took care of me at Kirkwood Material for years and years. And then when they sold out, everybody there left or got fired. And uh, Buddy ended up going to ASP. And we followed him there. So if you guys are wondering where Buddy's at, that's where he is. But yeah, we're getting ready to pull up now and uh, get these blocks loaded up. So hopefully we'll be at the job soon and get some stuff done. All right, back at the job. Time to start doing something man it just seems like there's so many blocks i mean i got six freaking pallets here and i still gotta get another one and a half of caps this this system just uses so many blocks all right so it looks like they got them a good base in here and um for this base they're just using this uh, hand packer and packing this one inch minus down as good as they can so everything is nice and solid and then we'll pound these into place we looking pretty good everywhere? This is a rock grade. Okay. So, I mean, we're gonna have to dig down, but as far as over here. Cool. I mean, we're, you know, we'll just start fluffing it in from here. So, I'm gonna have you go ahead and start working on this. Yeah, I got them too, but I couldn't do any more until we got those sure. fours, you know. And then, um,. I'll go ahead and I'll, start. I, I started shooting that over there, yeah. so that that way they can rock it. It needs a little bit more dug out. Dug out at the very point up there. It's going to be basically the rock's going to be almost to the top of the concrete, just at our farthest point out because of how hard our driveway falls. Right. What's up, buddy? <laughs> oh, J Dub got that beard all trimmed. You don't look as weird as I thought. Because I'm nothing long, a little longer this time. Remember last yeah. time I went real close? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you look way more sophisticated now with the glasses and the trim stuff. I thought so too. I yeah. Like, hmm. Yeah. And, you know, I don't do enough walls to know all the little secrets. I mean, we've been doing a lot of walls. Don't get me wrong. We've been doing them for a long time, but we just don't do them every single day. And even ordering these blocks, I always order off every time. I just get my square footage and then I give it to Buddy. And then he just loads stuff up in my truck. And I'm like, I don't know, it looks like an awful lot, man. There's a lot of a lot of blocks on this bad boy. I need to get my measurements down a little better. So that needs to come up an inch. JT. 
That needs to come up three quarters. Pretty smooth today. What do you guys think about old J-Dub with that new beard? Look, you got the beard all trimmed off. Ooh, I trimmed mine off too. JT come in that one day and baby faced, baby -faced, baby -faced us all. So we went ahead and uh, did the full trim. It looks like uh, they're saying it's gonna get pretty cold again. Mm -hmm. So it's right, we got a false spring right now. It happens every year. So what is today? Like February 6th? Yeah. Something like that. February 6th, I think. And uh, it's going to be like 55 this whole week. And then next week, old bottom's dropping out. It's going to be cold again. So, uh, no, not you, JT. You just can't. Yeah. No. <laughs> He's too much. Old David should be back soon. And uh, we'll start getting these caps on. And then, I mean, shoot, we're doing pretty good today. We just got to finish this section out over to the house this is all pinned everything's perfectly level we got to cap it same thing over here uh this piece here jt i, I think i want to move it i think i want to put this flip piece over it. here yeah i just had dave cut one for that well, yeah we can flip flop it or however you want to do it because we're gonna have to glue those two pieces. yeah yeah i think we'll put the smaller one on the other side yeah, i'm not I think a it'll look, break it up huge a fan better. of that now, another thing that I was saying, the way that this sidewalk was laid out, if you look over here, our blocks are below the top of concrete. And as we get up here, they're over the top of concrete. So with our overhang on our cap, it's not gonna work out over here unless we cut the bottom of those caps. And uh, unfortunately, that's just what we're gonna have to do because it's going to look really stupid without an overhang on it. Got to have an overhang. Everything else here has one, so. Now we're going to get our big saw out for Jason, our little table saw thing. And he's going to start cutting some caps over here on this little wall he's been working on. And then I'm going to start setting caps on the straight wall that Ricky and JT been working on. And uh, we're, we're moving along pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the progress on this one so far. It's still early, I think. Oh, 12 o'clock? Shoot, it's time to eat lunch. It's not that early. It is lunch time. Dave's just ripping trees down and hopefully he doesn't wipe out the basketball pole down there. Oh, I can't watch. Oh, where the heck is the saw at? It's a bad mammer jammer right here. Yep, we went and see a new way this morning and got us a couple new blades. Got the new way specials. You find something? Yep. What is it? 
their internet. Cool. Yeah, he already came out and told me. See, I told you that they weren't marked very accurately. These are telling you stuff. Like Don't tell me, plastic Dave. Plastic housing on the outside of the tarping supply thing, so around the motor. You did what? I cracked the housing. How? The I was, as soon as I had shut the mirror, I, just, I had the wheels to the left a little bit. When I went forward at the door, it touched it. As soon as it touched it, it just... That kind of fucking door, it, dude. It. But anyway, uh, I already called Thank them. You. They said all I got to do is give them the motor number, and they, they'll give me the new plastic cup. And I'll put it. What'd you break? The dump truck? The tar beam. Motor housing. He ran into the building. Unreal. I ran into the building. Um, JT, there's some deer sausage right there that Heather's mom and dad made. All right, lunch is over. Now we're going to uh, get some water in this saw here, and Jason's going to start cutting these caps in. And then we're going to start setting caps on the wall on the front, the straight one. And then we're going to also start working on our final wall over there on the other side. That should be good. Wednesday morning and uh, we got a lot done yesterday so we're gonna try to finish up uh, we just got one wall that we got to finish up on this deal and then I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have quite a few extra blocks so as soon as we get done I'm gonna load this trailer up and try to run back the stuff that we're not gonna use and then I gotta get a couple more pallets for this other job I got two more pallets of column blocks so uh, we're about to pull up no Dave today Dave had a doctor's appointment or something, so uh, he's going to try to break his record from last year. He missed 116 days. He's going for 260 this year. <laughs> uh, but no, he's, uh, he'll be back in tomorrow. Man, that sun sunrise looks awesome this morning. Yeah, it does. I almost called it a sunset. But, uh, so yeah, we're on our way. We'll be pulling up to the job here in just a minute. So we're going to knock this dirt down a little bit here. 
probably gonna go ahead and line this with fabric. I'll just go ahead and put a little bit of fabric around the outside of that thing. And uh, this one looks really good. I do like those blocks. They're a pain in the butt, but they do look nice. And then, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the way that those caps are cut on that sidewalk. It's a clean cut. But unfortunately, the homeowner said he wanted to be two inches below the front porch. So we went exactly two inches below the front porch. If I would have went level with the front porch, the same grade, then that cap would have been just above the sidewalk. But man, if I would have just, if I would have just made that sidewalk level across there, which I don't even know why it's got fall going down like that, but it is what it is. I had room right here to lower that down, but I wasn't aware that I was going to be doing these retaining walls at the time. Boy, that is a lot of blocks, Jason. Mm -hmm. It is. It's a lot. I mean, we're going to burn a good amount of them up, but not every single one of them. No, not every one, but yeah, we'll definitely use a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, Ken's sending emails for Sunday, but from what I'm seeing, I know, and it's not even going to be freezing, and the chance of anything is 20%. It's rain. Right. And it's 40 something degrees all day Monday. Well, you know what? I'll tell you what I did was I stopped questioning what they were going to say yeah. because, <laughs> I mean, how many times have we went out, dude, and it's yeah. and we yeah. were out for like 10 hours? Send me out. Go ahead. I That's what I. Flashy light. I want to show everybody. <laughs> <laughs> In the Page Industrial area. So. Jason. Send me out. They're gonna see me this time. <laughs> Jason's out in the plow truck just feeling just like he's not really all that he can be because no. he didn't have a flashy light. No flashy felt left light. out. You you felt left out. out. Right. An official plow person. Well, dude, you know what's crazy is that for a hard hat, so what I'm <laughs> I've bought those things so many times, Jason. Yeah. And they only last for like three or four events and they used to be so expensive man that little bitty, yeah that little bitty one that bucks. that same one that you bought i paid 150 dollars from snow pro for it yeah it's at the shop somewhere it, yeah it got messed up or something it, wasn't it just quit working yeah it, it was like one light would flash yeah, so when i saw the price of that thing i was like oh shit yeah how much was it it was only 40 bucks and no i do not want anything for it i bought it just because are you gonna put it on the hemi on the hemi pooter I did. Hey, I did put it on there. <laughs> <laughs> Security. I got to see it. I put it up on there, buy the truck up, plug it in. Like, oh. That's funny. Catch Owen on the road one day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah we're doing pretty good it's 9 20 right now and we just about got this thing finished jason's got the caps cut all the way to here so now we're to our straight section uh we had some under pour over pour whatever you want to call it over here that ricky just got done chipping away but yeah we're in good shape we should uh, I, I don't know how in the heck i ended up with so many extra blocks but i mean shoot i've got a lot of extra blocks i don't know how I guess uh, you'll have that sometimes, but I mean, I literally have three pallets of blocks that I bought. Um, in my defense, I gave Buddy my measurements and then he gave me this, so I'm gonna blame it on him. So Buddy, if you're watching this, I can't believe you did that. We'll trade the blocks for the breaker. 
Uh, yeah. So Jason's just going through and roughing up these edges on these tumbled blocks. You can't leave your saw cuts. You got to go through and chip the edges off so it blends in with the rest of this stuff. All right, I'm going to leave this camera here with one of these guys. I'm going to run to ASP and take these blocks back and get two more pallets from our for our other job. And I got to get a couple caps, so I'll see you guys when I get back. Here, JT. Hello. Now it's time for the real show. Professional. So, I think as of the moment, we're fairly caught caught up. I mean, just need a few caps. That corner looks good. I mean, it sucks because we only need that that big saw for like what two cuts the whatever this filler is and then at the porch did you watch that grub mud live thing no he reposted the video of it Who, the grub mud because it was live but then he actually posted a video of the live thing. Okay, I don't follow Grub Mud. I just looked his name up to watch it. And what was it about? What? The top 10 list. Oh. You know, and like Victory and Rick Thomas and I all that. I saw the post. I didn't see a video or nothing. Yeah, so Rick, you know, was talking about it. And the dude did a live feed on Saturday. And then posted the live video, I guess, uh, okay. Sunday or something like that. You know what I mean? Okay. On his Facebook page? On YouTube. On YouTube. Grub Mud, yeah. I need to go find Grub Mud on YouTube. Yeah. Did someone talk shit about us or something? No, no, it was like how how we made the top, like how they made the top 10 list. You know how we made like number six on it or something like that. But yeah, they, t you know, talk about how, how they came up with the list and, you know, how Rick's on there and, you know, just because he just started this year and's already killing it and everything like that. And it's pretty cool though. And then another guy came on the live video with his own like list of the concrete and he had us at number four. Yeah, for uh, first for million people out there, you know. Yeah. I mean I'm glad we're recognized. You know, of course victory was all their number one. But they all, the one dude was like, I go off of views. He's like, so my list is kind of going off who's got the most views. Right. And of course, Victory, yeah. you know, they've got the most views. Because he's been doing it long. That, and he gets a couple hundred thousand every single video. Yeah. But, you know, like, you know, he's talking about Rick and how his videos are awesome and the work and everything. And, you know, and it's pretty cool. They're talking about who do you think will hit the first thousand subscribers and they're like shit it could be rick with the way he's growing you know what i mean right. That'd be cool. yeah all right we're back rick's got us some caps i guess that four footer ain't back here no more what four footer the level we don't we, we don't have a four or a six. I must have left them somewhere. Yeah. Well, I remember that that four footer was back here for a long time. I mean, unless it slid up underneath. I don't. I doubt it. I think we got it out of here. Usually everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. What we do have is a a straight edge and a two foot level. No.
No, but it's, uh, isn't it in his truck? No, I just looked. Oh, you just looked? I don't know what happened to the six footer. We left it on that other job. This one? The one we're going to next. We were just using it the other day when we were trying to get everything lined out. So I'm, I'm thinking that we somehow accidentally left it over. Hey JT, if you're still hungry, there's donuts that were in here from last week. <laughs> They're crispy. I'm not that hungry. I'm not that hungry. Just dip them in water. Yeah. <laughs> A microwave. Five seconds in the microwave, dude. They're brand new and fresh. Dude, talk about eating used donuts. Huh? Right. But won't eat leftover Chinese food. That's right. funny shit, dude. <laughs> but won't eat leftover Chinese food. He's like, oh, I can't do that. I'm like, so, what you mean you can't eat leftover Chinese food? When Layla was little, she's at dance class, mm -hmm. and they were having a party. So, and the teacher is somebody that Nicole went to school with. She says, Nicole, Layla was said the funniest thing. When Layla was little, she wouldn't eat anything. Like, she didn't eat, we didn't even think she was ever going to eat food. And then, like, the first time she tried steak, she's like, oh, I want that. <laughs> so she goes into the to the dance party. And they got a big tray of food and sandwiches and stuff. And the teacher says, Layla, eat something. And Layla looks at her and she goes, oh, I don't eat used sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, here's my plan. I'm going to take the spare tire, drop it off, have them put the new tire on, take that one off, put it on the shelf. You know what I mean? Yeah. Does that one just have a hole in it? I, it's not just that. Now the whole, you know. Oh, it's starting to be bad. Starting to wear out. I feel like that axle is not all the way. Like it, it, I might be wrong, but to me it seems like that this tire. Yeah, and we measured it. Yeah. You know, we measured the driver's everything. Driver's side tire seems like it's full. I don't. Know, but I don't, like I said. That's what happens when you ramp, eighteen inch hole. curbs. It was probably more than eighteen. I'd like to get a measurement. <laughs> Alrighty, these guys already had the everything done pretty much so i just had to get them those caps so they could finish that last little section right there everything looks beautiful i'm gonna run to the shop and i need to switch trailers i got a pallet of column blocks in this thing that we need for tomorrow so i'm gonna have to just uh go to the shop drop this trailer i'm gonna have to unhook the other trailer from the dump truck i really need to get my freaking cdl that way uh, I can just drive that old dump truck around legally. So I'm gonna head to the shop and get that done and then we'll be back to this job site in a second and get things wrapped up. All right, so here's our final product. Everything turned out really nice. We're still gonna bring some dirt in here for them and uh, get this thing filled up and then I'm gonna get my landscaper buddies over here and uh, See if they can get them some stuff planted this spring but uh really happy with the way everything turned out this section right here is a little different because of the grades oh this cap right here needs to be chipped off a little more it's already glued but we can still tap it so everything met up to the house beautifully same thing here i think this one looks really nice i'll put a little dirt around the outside of these walls too when we come back so Definitely happy with the way all this turned out. And like I mentioned earlier, we're also going to come down here and take care of these uh, throats. Just this one right here. And it's not horrible, but I'll be able to grind that out with the little V grinder. And then I'll be able to put some caulk in there and throw some silica sand on it. And it'll look like it's supposed to be there. So that's going to be it on this one, everybody. Thanks for watching on the next one. Um, we poured some concrete, so we'll see you then. Later.